One seat, two seats. Yeah, that's not just it. We're installing more. So for those of you who are new to the channel, these are my Carl Hans bucket seats and they've been in and out of this car more times than I've brushed my teeth today. That'd actually be quite a few times because I brushed my teeth twice. Once when I woke up and once right before I filmed this. Dude, these birds are smashing. These seats have been taken out of the car for over a year though because I daily drove them in my Mark VI for about six months. And then once the winter hit, I took them out and they've just been sitting in storage. And I did in fact get a Mark 7 Golf R seat for this. Shout out to Brandon. But I decided instead of running the Golf R seat in my Mark 5, I'm gonna run it inside of my Mark 6 and I'm gonna make a wiring harness or buying wiring harness so that I can adapt that and then I can have these in the spaceship. And I mean like, you and I both can't lie, these seats look like they belong in a spaceship. Passenger seat, driver's seat. Driver's seat's way cooler. It's carbon Kevlar, so it's got this crazy weave pattern to it. I would say it weighs maybe like five pounds lighter than that seat, crazy enough. Step one for seat number one is to install it into the car. Seat one is an OG seat out of V1 itself. The funniest part about it is it expired in December of 2011, 13 years ago. 13 year old seat, but I love this thing. It's been through a lot with me. I've had it since actually 2018. So when I bought it, it was only expired for seven years. <laughs> Imagine that it's been expired for literally 13 years. That's enough yapping. I gotta get this thing into the car. Got the seat in, centered out before we put the bolts in. Make sure everything fits and checks out. Ooh, I don't think you guys have seen the headliner in the daytime yet. And I don't even know if I have. I mean, I've been out here, but I haven't really gotten to soak it all in. But wow, that looks good. I'm around the back. So much leg room from when I don't have passengers because we're static. And I can't really afford to have anybody in the back because my body would smash on the lip of the wheel. Damn, back seat looks good for people who aren't gonna sit in it. We got the bolts for the seat. We're gonna drop one, put one there, and that's because this bolt right here is gonna go into the back. This is a vlog, so I'll bring you guys along. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but it's too tight for a normal bolt, so that's gonna go right in there. One bolt, two bolt. Oh, actually, I wanna show you guys this. For any of you guys who aren't like a Mark V, Mark VI, Mark VII type of person, or you're not even into Volkswagens, these actually swivel. They're like little nuts that just like, they're really cool. So I can kind of just throw this here, mount the seat up, not have it tight. And then we can adjust the seat to how we want it, which is actually like a really cool option. And that's OEM. I need an extension. Oh my gosh, I got the extension. This thing looks... Montage. <laughs> That. I'm getting cold. Back into my little den. Oh yeah, she's tight. I'm not gonna lie, the contrast between this and this is just a massive show tell. Like, get that out of here. With this headliner and these seats, <laughs> this this wins. That loses. Go goodbye. be wondering Alex how's your tall six foot four frame massive huge strong frame gonna get into the seat and the answer is simple technique skill subscribe if you haven't already I'm trying to get 200,000 <laughs>
painless and it's easy. Only if you got the right guy knowing what he's doing. Don't I look so cozy? I am for like the first 20 minutes and then I get really, really, really uncomfortable. But I look great going down the road in these things. Imagine I had no door like a Jeep. Someone saw that, they say, wow, carbon Kevlar, huh? I say, yeah, carbon Kevlar. Got it for real cheap, real cheap. And let's continue going. I don't want to brag, I don't want to brag, you know? Let's install this now, because my old one, It, it, it broke. You hate to see it. Back in the garage, it was too cold outside, but we're gonna be replacing this. And this is what I was ripping and breaking before because over time they get really brittle and they just, don't get put together correctly and they, you know, people take them apart and the bolts are missing. So a lot of this stuff comes apart really easy. And then it's just, oh, the bolts are in there? That's actually wild. And it's super satisfying putting a car back to like not having destroyed cracked dash pieces and interior and the headliner doesn't sag anymore. I know some of the stuff I've been doing to this car lately haven't been like too over the top, but like I'm vlogging my life. I'm not trying to be like one of those YouTubers who's like, and today we're going to give away a million dollars. I simply don't have that. Whatever I make off this video goes right back into the content. And I really appreciate you guys watching. And as I take that off, obviously the more views we get, the more money we can make, the bigger the videos we can make but for now we're just making content with when i make a video and i make money from that video I, I recycle that money right back into the next video we got this off i think this is this is definitely the other half of that so that's junk and then for this piece of the radio that's gonna come up if you just replace a radio from what i've seen in other videos you just put this to the side because if i unplug this which i'm going to right now you'll get an airbag light that you'll need to reset and recode with vcds i'm gonna unplug this because i have vcds also if anyone recommends a certain type of radio let me know because this one's kind of junk i'm not gonna lie i want to have like apple carplay and there's obviously room to have that so if you recommend one or if you have one you're trying to sell hit me up let me know drop the comment <laughs> That hurt my fingers. I feel like I hurt my fingers in every video. This blue clip snaking through there and undoing that heavy spring. It's not fun. Oh, I just snapped the other one in half, but that came right off. It's now free. Now that I got all this nonsense out of the car, it's time to throw the new one in. Awesome, I got this thing sat in here pretty good. We just got to get these clips to sit. Sadly, this clip is broken here on the side. Um, that's what happens when you buy used parts. But for 20 bucks, I got this thing. It's fairly decent. I mean, this side sits nice and flush. This side sits not the happiest with that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty upset. But if anyone has one of these for sale and wants me to spend another 20 bucks, that's your boy now. I just can't wait till one of you guys comment. You're like, oh, I work at the dealership. Those are actually 15 bucks. We have them in stock. Just like the cowl. Cowls are 50 bucks. I don't know how a cowl is only 50 bucks, dude. So cheap. I'm a professional. Oops. Sadly, I have the screen. I don't have the rare. I don't even know if it's rare, but it's like a tray that goes in there. I would like to have the tray. So if anyone has the tray, let me know. Let me get this in there. Oof. And then I was actually worried that I didn't have this, but it was just sitting down there and the clips aren't broken. I'll put this side and that side. Oh, baby. And now that we got the bezel in, I can move on to this switch. And I'm actually going to do all the door panel switches because I got this from a parts car that Vinny had. And then after I took this out, about a week later, we were hanging out and he handed me this. He's like, yo, I scrapped that car and I knew that you took this switch and you'd probably be able to use the rest of the switches. So big shout out to Vinny. Massive shout out to Vinny. Love you, Vinny. Bezel I had to pay for. This was a gift. And, um... I really appreciate it. I'm gonna reenact how I got this out of the parts car in the rain with no tools. So let's go. I need the energy. That, that's the sound I made last time too. Oh, 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 oh. 
Look at this. So this is the main reason that I'm tackling this. It actually like disintegrated and fell down into the car. There's the toggle, there's the spring. This thing exploded. Not today, but like a long time ago. The reason it, it's justified. My Mark 6 one looked like this with no knob on it. I needed the knob, so I pulled it off for my Mark 6. I stole out of the Mark 5 because the Mark 5 wasn't moving. And then one day I went to go toggle it and I pushed down a little too hard. Everything just went. Now I got a working one. It actually looks like brand new OEM plus baby clip off here I hate these blue clips this is the second one I've encountered today and it has two springs on each side so ow ow that really hurt a lot I don't like you here's the new switch panel on this disgusting tan I'm just gonna pop it right out oh no this is the current setup all the clips are undone got this side pried up but I did it, baby! But I did it! Boom. Let's get this to clip back into here. Oof. Oof. And now for the best part yet, the window switches. Nice. Let's hear that clip. Oh! Oh! My camera ran out of storage the first time, so I had to pull that completely back apart, but the last 15 minutes trying to not break that, so... I do it for you guys. storage about 20 times we got it all done we got new door switches we got the seats in there and we got the new bezel i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was a fun little install for me freshening up the whip but before the storage runs out i'm gonna say peace i'm gonna keep it short i love y'all i can't wait to see y'all in the next one if you're not subscribed subscribe if you didn't already like today's video and you enjoyed it like the video and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one peace